Okay, let's break this lick down. This is in the key of E minor, but mind you, we are in, uh, I can't even speak today. All right, let's break this lick down. We are tuned to E flat today, and uh, the key we're in is E minor. So let's go over the lick fairly slowly, and we can explain the other shit afterwards. So this is the lick right here. E minor shape arpeggio. Over this box right here. Look at the tabs below. And then scale up. So pretty much an arpeggio going all the way down, then ascending in scale. E minor. With economy picking. So economy picking, if you don't know what that is, it's simply going down, up, down, and then down, up, down, all the way up in the successive uh, strings, whatever. So just like that. So you can loop that over and over again. Something like that. So uh, I repeat half of the arpeggio to go into the next one. So something like that. So you see the next chord is D major in this kind of position here. So it's not, it's gonna be this shape. I did the wrong scale there, but same idea. D major. It's a little harder because you have to change your fingering more often. So there's that part. And then the next chord is G major. And that scale too, G major scale. This one's similar to the first one because we, we jump a fourth. They, they feel very similar. This one is the like the inversion form. So we have a, a third here. And that's the same shape we're gonna use for the other ones as you'll see, these applied uh, secondary dominance. So after this G, we're gonna do E major. Right here. Same kind of shape as the D major, just right here. And right here, it's the five of five, sorry, not the five of five, it's gonna be the five of four. We can get into that later. The scale here, I'm using melodic minor just to keep as many E minor notes as possible, so meaning those are the important notes we need to uh, focus on, any alteration is fine, but as long as we hit like an F sharp instead of an F natural, we'll keep the tonality more like gearing towards E minor again without straying too far. Um, so yeah, so right here is E major. Same idea, and then, so when we get to A minor, it's not the A minor scale, because like I said, you don't wanna hit the F natural, you want the F, uh, F sharp to give the sound that we know we're eventually gonna go back to E minor, so. And then after that we do uh, the five of five here, which is F sharp major, so. Same shape as the other ones there. Right here, actually, I think I do like a melodic minor again. Sorry. Then we resolve to the B major. Something like that. Right here, I would I would be doing. Like a... like that sounds cool. So whatever. So how do we explain this? Because um, I remember uh, some of you have asked about uh, in our Twitch stream or even in our Instagram stuff uh, about applied and secondary dominance. They're the same thing. It's just a different word for the same phenomenon. So what's going on is we're giving emphasis to the to every other degree in the scale, in the in the key. So for example, in harmonic minor, the scale, that leading tone 
Oh. Is a borrowed effect from the parallel E major scale mode. Right? That leading tone that we have a 5 1 chord progression there, B major, E major, right? That's the sound that is borrowed for uh, harmonic minor. So, so, what if you apply that the same way, right? B7, B minor, I'm sorry, B major, B E minor. What if you apply that same idea to every other degree in the scale? Or at least, you know, you could do that with every degree, sure. But in this lick, I go to G, that's already an exists naturally, but then right here is not natural. It sounds nice, so we have a G sharp going to A, right? So it's leading tone to that chord progression, to that uh, degree, degree is fourth degree, and then we have another one resolving to that particular degree, the fifth degree. So again, we tonicize in a way, we, we make, make these particular points uh, heavier in, in weight than uh, I guess they, they, they would naturally have. Naturally it would be like, that's natural, but then this would be an E minor again. Right, it doesn't have that pull. If I, if I just give that a leading tone to the A, it kind of drags you to that that point. So what this lick does is it's tonicizing, giving weight to the fourth and fifth degree just in the same way that the first degree already has. So again, you hear that in the lick right here. It's already there naturally, but you can still feel that pull regardless. And then after, right, you hear that, you feel it too. There it is. So can just kind of, I you know, skim through that <laughs> sloppily, but uh, that's the idea of applied uh, and secondary dominance. You could try that uh, with other other uh, parts of the scale. So, for example, you could try that with, um, like, say, uh, we already did the fourth and fifth. You could even do it with the sixth degree or even the, the seventh degree in, in the minor scale, right? Uh, to what stands out more is if you do like a seventh chord. So if you go. Sounds like we're in a different mode now, but that's, that's the idea there too. And we're getting carried away, but that's for another lesson we could do another time. But my point is, again, this is applying secondary dominance in, uh, in shred licks. It's not, it's not as hard as you may think, uh, just, you know, be familiar with the scale degrees. Uh, you don't have to memorize all those funny Greek and uh, weird names. <laughs> but as long as you can recognize the shapes, you know, play them up to the octaves. Find out, number them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is the same as, as one. They're all their own degrees, you know, they have their own shape, they have their own chords, just recognize those and then try the, you know, the, do the dominant of that. You know, so the dominant could be, um, a major chord, in this case, right, major, B, B major, to E minor, it could be B7, it could be a, a seventh chord, seventh dominant, seventh chord, resolving, or it could even be um, extensions of that, it could be like B, B dominant, flat nine, it could be like, I can I even fucking play that right now? Right there, something like that. There we go, that sounds way better. The resolves in the same way. You could do that whole uh, double diminished stuff, Ingve style. Same resolution. So all those are substitutes of the same fucking thing. You don't have to play a major chord every time. It could be the cooler sounding, you know, diminished chord. See, I did the same idea there. Tonicize the fourth and fifth degrees, A, A minor and B, uh, with double diminished instead also sounds pretty cool, but um, it's up to you. So I hope you learned a bit with this lick, and um, yeah, I'll uh, catch you next time. Shred on. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh my fucking God. <laughs>